Okay, Lit so you legs. need your Here sculpt bar. You need your sculpt bar. And what else do you need, Jess? We need sculpt bar. You can use a band if you'd like. And that's it. That's it, that's sculpt all? Sculpt bar. Okay, so our very first exercise, we have our sculpt bar split lunge, okay? So you've seen this before with a squat variation. I'm gonna watch where I'm standing because there's a lot of my sweat on the floor. I don't wanna slide out. Let's, um, okay. 45 degree, yeah? So we're gonna step over that bar. <laughs> You guys see that? <laughs> well, that's real graceful. Okay, the tendency here is Do to Tammy. roll forward. <laughs> you want to make sure that your shoulders stay back. Yes. Okay, and we want to... <laughs> okay, shoulders guys, to wait. Back. Do not... Do... <laughs> this is... <laughs> Kind of take movie like film shortcuts here. Don't do that. Do this. <laughs> Yay. Yay! So much easier. <laughs> okay, so weight in the heel. We're on the ball of the back toe, and then we're lowering down for a lunge, hover, and then come all the way up. Okay. So do not let that weight pull you down. Keep your chest proud. Time's going. Five we're seconds down in. Down and up. Bending and extending knees so watch you want those shoulders rolled back you're staying up on your toe at the top there so you should have room for that bar do you Tammy I have room my arms aren't as long as Jesse's so we were doing a quick little run through of the workout before and I was like um, my bar is going in places it shouldn't go <laughs> two and one oh so Lower your bar, switch your stance. And if you need to take your ban bar, bar slightly on a diagonal so that it fits, do you, okay? So I'm gonna switch sides. Five seconds. When you're picking up that band, bar. What is wrong with me today? Don't know. Too much coffee. You wanna make sure you have too a nice little neutral coffee. Spine. No, too, too much coffee. Okay. Maybe you are drinking and the rest of us are just. Someone. Someone um, had some of my coffee the other day and he said it was like really freaking strong. So, that like was something you made? Yeah. Sometimes I forget if I push the button Ooh. on the pod. I feel like every <laughs> time you're close again, to me, or I forget if I had a new pod for my second run through if I want to top it up. So, I'll put a new pod in. So, sometimes it is a little strong. Sometimes it's two and one. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice. Okay. We allotted time for right Two. and left. So we're going back to our first side here, okay? Oh, I'm glad we switched it up. That's a burn. It is a burn. Okay. Five seconds. Four. Could you believe I almost made us miss this? Two and one. So with the neutral spine, pick up that bar. Ah, finally got it right. B A R. So up. load that heel on the way down. Stay on the toe. Push through the heel to the top. Five seconds more here. Then we're switching. Three. We're not switching. Two. One. No, we're not switching. Sorry. Not three sets. Two sets. Ooh. Each side. Okay. Down. Sit. And up. Five Ooh. seconds. Oh, three. Two. And one, lower down, nice flat spine, switch it up. Okay, this is the last time we're gonna do these, and then we are moving on. Okay. I'm glad you talked us into the shorts. Yeah? It's hot. It's so hot. I'm so sweaty. I came here with like semi straight hair. It's, I'm going with full ringlets today, I'm sure. It happens, it happens slowly too. Depends on the climate. The hot nights during the summer, I wake up and all the hair closest to my neck are in full like ringlets. Yep. They're like shoulder length. It's crazy. But the top of my head won't be ringlets, fuckers. Watch that back leg. Make sure your foot isn't turning out or turning in. You're gonna have to work as you fatigue to keep it all aligned. Facing forward, five seconds. Three. Two and one. Ooh. Those feel powerful. I like it. Okay. Sculpt bar, glute bridge. So we're going down for another glute bridge. Both feet on the ground, loaded with the sculpt bar. 
If you have the pad, use it, depending on how much weight you have on there. You can always wrap your mat around it as well. Here we go, lift and lower. So do not hold the bar, just brace the bar. So your feet placement here can vary and depending on if you have your feet at neutral, if they are at hip distance or if they're wide, you're gonna be different, hitting different parts of the glutes. For the purpose of this exercise, we're at hip distance apart, toes pointing forward. Think of floating your toes almost off the ground. They don't actually physically have to leave the ground, but that's the sensation we want, okay? Heavy through the heels to activate the glutes and hamstrings. This doesn't come into your lower back at all. And rest. Okay, one more of those. I tell you, I could take a bridge any day. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite exercises and part of almost every single Pilates class I've ever written. Five seconds. Three, Woo! two, and one. Here we go. Don't be afraid to really load this up too, guys. You'll be surprised, hopefully, at the weight you can bear. What would you normally put on here, Timmy? Oh, at home, I'll put on the full Olympic bar and I'll put 225s on each side. So, yeah. and if I have someone there Almost to help, 100 me, pounds. help me get it up, I'll, I'll load even more. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh, so what is that? I do feel it though. That's 135, 130 pounds, Fred? Yeah. No, 25, 25, 50. The Olympic the bar 30. is 35, I think. 30. 30, no? yeah. 30. Okay, so ah! say it is, that's 80. Oh, Woo. 25 and 25, 50, 130. Oh, you're doing 225s, got it. Yeah, sometimes I'll put on the 15s too. All right. Just depends. All right, sumo squat. So we're loading, where are we loading? We're loading the back, the traps, I should say. Trap it. 45 Choo -choo degrees, trap. coming Toes down. to the side, down. And up. Pulse. Did you pulse? I did. Down. And up. There we go. Weight in the heels. Remember, we want to think of sending our hips forward at the bottom of that movement. Keep the core tight. And breathe. Four seconds. Three. Two, one. Okay, we Ooh. got one more of those. I like those a lot. Me too. Now at the back of the body, we want the bar to set on the traps. Don't let it hit the cervical spine, okay? Not in your neck. Okay, find that sumo stance, sumo wrestler stance. Toes out to the side of the room. Three, two, one. A nice rule of thumb is that your knees go in the same direction as your toes. So pretend those toes are little arrows. Knees are going out to the side, hips go forward, and then we're lifting up. We don't want to lean forward at all when we're coming out of that squat. Okay, guys, don't cheat the pulse. Come Ooh. up, maybe 10%. Here. Ooh, 10 seconds. What was I doing with my hands there? <laughs> Four. <laughs> Up. One Woo! more! Oh my god. Holy. Okay. All right. We're coming down to the ground for kneeling squats. So I'm going to grab my mat for this one. Well, we'll see. Okay. You want your feet together, toes together. And again, the weight goes behind the body. Knees are nice and wide. And then we're coming up. Think of tucking the pubic bone under. We're working. So this reminds me of a move that we were doing on one of our mobility days, a hip opening move, and we got a lot of flack for it. <laughs> now guys, Frog I know stretch, yeah? you typically, yeah, don't give us any hate. You said that was provocative. That is actually a stretch. Is that hate provocative? It's not, it's, I don't know. It's not meant to be provocative. It wasn't meant to be risque. That's no. actually the stretch. And honestly, try it. If you are working on your hip mobility, You'll see that in Pilates classes, in yoga classes. Your physio might actually have you do it. Postnatal work might actually have you do it. Should we demo? So if you don't remember, it was like this. You bring the knees out as far as you can in line with the hips. 
and you push back and push forward. And it's actually super, super great. That's one of my issues. I have super tight hips. Probably most people do. That's it's work. an amazing stretch, okay? Try it. Yeah, we appreciate your feedback 110%. We just don't want you to think we're doing something or we're not doing it. That's actually an amazing hip opener. If you Google hip openers, you'll probably see that one up there. Okay, sit way back. Really think about pushing your glutes to your heel. That's a and good then on point. Up, squeeze your glutes. Think of tucking them under. We got 10 more seconds of these. Eight, six, last three, three two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, now, now are we done? No. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. No. Loaded alternating. We have. I'm glad you guys stuck around for that. We that have one more really lunge. Good. We have one more lunge. Yeah. What are you talking about? What are alternating you talking about, sculpt bar side lunge. Ew. We have to get in that side work. Ew. Work in all the planes, lady. Here we go. So we're going to step out to the side. Come up. Finish it. Feet together, like we talked about, but no. We're staying here? Okay. We're staying here. <laughs> I thought we were talking about this. We just pivot. I thought you said you like this one better. It's all right. Oh. Both work. The glutes all the way to the back wall. Try to keep your chest up here. I know there's weight Five. on that upper body. Three. So we feel a tendency to fold forward. Don't give in. Okay. All right, I now one more set. And then we're done. Woo. Get rid of this before I trip yeah, on yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Una mas. Una mas. So get that nice wide stance. Okay, and we're gonna go out to the right first. Three, two, and one. Drop back, weight in the glutes, weight in the heel, chest lifted. Oh. Lots of power through the heel. Push, 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 push to the top. Oh. 20 I'm seconds. Stay on the side so you don't clock me in the face. No. <laughs> I would never. You didn't. On purpose. 10 seconds. Sit. Last five, five. Four. Three. Two and one. Woo! Well done. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, February for me. I just love this. Uh, Everything we're doing. I don't know how it happened, but somehow we well, made it better. How, I know how it happened. We wrote it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I know, That's but like to have each one be that much better. Yeah, progressively. It's amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I know we're only at the beginning of February. A lot of you were really excited ending January off so strong. And it, it's exciting to see. And it feels really great as fitness. Can we call ourselves fitness professionals? Fitness professionals who yeah. live, breathe, literally live and breathe fitness and enjoy it. And we do it because we love it, not for the bankroll because let's be honest, <laughs> it's fitness. We do it because we love it. And it's so amazing. I, I need to work on my adjectives. It's, it's fucking amazing. Rewarding. It's so rewarding yeah. to see so many of you um, really enjoying it and finding meaning in it and finding refuge in it and finding stress relief in it and finding power in it. It's, it's fucking fantastic. Yeah. Sorry, Ben. Ben's At the end there. of every month, we're kind of like, Amazing. I hope the feedback's great because we want to keep bringing this to you guys. Like, yeah. if you let us know that you're loving it and you want more of it, we're going to keep bringing it to you. So you have to let us know because we can't see you. So you have to yeah. communicate via Instagram, via um, the Facebook page, the Insiders, the Insiders Facebook page. We love all your comments. And honestly, I'm trying to figure out Facebook to try and communicate Me more too. with you guys. But most we're of you working know how on to find that. us. I'm at Body and, Body and Soul Fitness. Yeah. on Instagram and uh, fit by Jesse P. So, so fit underscore Jesse P. Jesse dot P. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, so. and it's truthfully coming from the purest place of our heart. Like, and we do act like silly. provocative and silly. And it's definitely a flavor. 
and we hope it aligns with yours. But if but it's kind of it who does we are, it, also. we're just being honest, like and I'm we're together. Like it just comes girlfriends, out we're silly. Truthfully, truthfully, I think I think I'm the silliest when I'm with you. Yeah, like I would you, say we all same. have different friends. We have that friend, like we. But you're a lot of those. You're like my like soul talk friend, mm -hmm. and you're my advice friend, and you're my what the fuck are you doing friend, mm -hmm. and you're my party friend, and you're also like my silly friend. But I mean, like sometimes those friends are filled by different slots. Um, but when we're together, we're silly. So I don't want you guys to think at any point we're putting anything on. This is legitimately just us. And sometimes <laughs> to a fault, it's just yeah. us. Sometimes, And like, we appreciate the comments. <laughs> if you guys, if something is provocative or whatever, we like open book. Like we want to hear your comments, yeah. bad and good. So we just wanted to nip know. that one in the butt because it wasn't at all meant to be pro provocative. It's a real no, it's legit. good stretch for the hips. What's the name? It. Frog stretch? Uh, it's a frogger. Like a reverse yeah, frogger. Frog so stretch. look it up. It's real. Okay. 21 questions. questions. I'm not going to sing again because I sang before. I'll right? work on it. Maybe next episode. Like do the rap part. Okay. Right now? No. Next like, time. Practice? Next time. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, like proper. You're asking me 21. And then you have to do the voice and you got to do like a little. This is a lot. Crunk. This crunk. is a lot. This is extra. All right. <laughs> Bonus. <sighs> okay. So the question for today is how soon after pregnancy will I be able to work out? It's a two-parter. And will the relaxin actually allow me to build muscle? Not <sighs> relaxing. Relaxin. relaxin. Okay. So how soon after pregnancy are you able to work out? This differs from person to person. Typically, it's about six weeks. You have to let your body heal, okay? And you have to be approved by your doctor. Mm -hmm. So depending on... I would even go a step further. Your doctor, and I would probably see... A pelvic floor therapist. A hundred percent. Right? So it's different for everyone. If it's your first child, you may not know what you should be feeling like before you, you are good to go. So definitely seek out the advice of fitness professionals. Medical professionals. <laughs> Just call us. <laughs> I'll tell you. Um, if it's your second, third, you might have a better idea of how you're feeling and know, but still get that green light. So six weeks is the is the blanket statement. Um, you've started sooner, I think, for baby number two, or baby I number have. three. Um, my yeah. first was a C-section, so I actually had to wait a lot longer. I had some complications. But for my second, I was like raring to go. I got cleared real quick, and I started like on the six week mark as soon as I got cleared. I waited because of my complications with my first. And guys, like you just had a human, like enjoy the time. Like seriously, yeah. everyone, I know it's like the trend right now, like rush back. rushing back, who can lose their baby weight the fastest. But you and don't get the time back. You do not get the time back. So if you have like, you know, put your baby down to, I, I'm not saying like, I'm not judging at all. I'm just saying from personal advice, like, that amazing. was, yeah, that was like one of the most purely um, amazing experiences of my life, being able to like, s with my first one, the other two, I didn't get to sleep. <laughs> I, I didn't got, get I got to, to sleep. sleep a second. I got to sleep. Daddy was great. Like he would take, like, we both have kids really close together. They were like, we were always, we were, one of us was pregnant or both of us was pregnant for like a solid four years, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but my second is 15 months older than my younger than my first so for for baby number two um daddy took time off and there was like a full on mm -hmm. like two week period where i just like snuggled her into my yes for a couple weeks but not the full like six not weeks the full i feel six like weeks, but that's such so a just enjoy time. just be just be aware of that that you're not going to get this time back and the, the workout and the waistline that'll be there later but that baby's going to grow faster than you know yeah um don't don't let the snapback queens on Instagram bring you down. Like we are all different. Our bodies mm -hmm. work different. We all have different lives. Like we don't all have um, a significant other. We don't all have a family that helps. We don't all have the ability to pass that baby off to, to work out. So you just got to really know what you're capable of and don't hold yourselves to standards that are maybe not realistic for your life. Okay? Yeah. The real truth is there are so many vari variables. Did you work out during your pregnancy? Were you fit when you got pregnant? What are your genetics? What kind of um, labor or what kind of pregnancy did you have? What yeah. kind of labor did you have? Any complications? What does your baby need? Like that's all questions that you need to take the time to answer and then get cleared by the professionals. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, in our own personal experience, I ran 
I don't know, a bunch of Ks. I ran the on, day I had. I, I ran the day before. I did 5K before I gave birth to my first. My water. Yeah, I had the, the baby day. that day. So that may have induced it. And I probably wouldn't recommend that. But I was running the whole time and working out years, like 10 years leading Prior. up to that. So more. Again, this <laughs> is a completely unique experience to each of us. Yeah. Like, we can't tell you. Um, that six weeks is going to be the time. But generally, yes, that's There's what one say. thing you said that I really like. Fuck, what was it? Um, you said, what were you like before? A lot of, <laughs> a lot of people decide, I want to look like this after pregnancy. Well, if you look like this before pregnancy, chances are you're not going to look like this after pregnancy. Like, let's be realistic. Like, our bodies are all created differently. And I, I think, like, we need to know what we're capable of. Um, physiologically, our bodies are all put together a little bit differently. My hips are a lot wider than Jesse's. Just like our shoulders are both broad. But I remember, like when we were younger and we like borrow jackets to go to the bar, and some of our girlfriends like we couldn't fit into their jackets. We might have. Right, well, basically, all my fitted jackets, the middle seam is ripped because yeah, my shoulders. Because our shoulders are so broad. But this yeah. is just like the perfect example. Like whether these girlfriends of ours were bigger or smaller in stature and size. Our shoulders are so broad, we could not get into their jackets. So it's just about like being really aware of yourself and not trying to fit into any sorts of molds. Second part of this question, holy shit, we really digress. Will relax and actually allow me to build muscle? So first things first, it's a funny story. Um, <laughs> our producer thought that that was spelled wrong. And like, what's this? Relaxin. So relaxin is actually a hormone that your body releases during pregnancy that allows your body to relax and expand your joints and ligaments to expand so you can carry the fetus, you can carry the baby. So that's why during pregnancy, we tend to get wider. Um, your feet actually will widen so that you can support the extra weight. Okay, so relaxin stays in your body for about two years, right? And it means that when you start working out again, you're way more flexible. Your range of motion is wider. So you really have to be aware of in those ranges. In some cases, yeah. Yeah, ranges of motion. Don't go to the nth degree of a stretch because it's it might not be the perfect range for your body relax and still flowing so the question do you want to hit this one up because i feel like i've been talking for an hour what actually it would allow you to build muscle um relaxing will allow you to build muscle yes of course you can still build muscle um the relaxin won't allow you to build muscle but you can still build muscle it's while you're creating that chemical. Not a hindrance, right? It's not a hindrance, yeah. So on the flip side to what we've been saying, we've kind of been taking the cautious approach. If you are feeling strong and you've been cleared and this will help you, because I know this was my situation, and these workouts modified to whatever you need will help you. We have a friend who started doing these body rock workouts. Her daughter is fresh, like three months old, and she is just crushing it. She's crushing been cleared. It. She absolutely loves it, and she loves the time to herself. She takes 40 minutes. This is real. We We're not making out? this up. Shout out to Nadia. Yay! We're so proud of you. <laughs> she's like our biggest fan, so like we love her, and she's the perfect example of like how this can benefit someone who needs a little time to themselves. New mom. Dad watches them for 40 minutes. She does this, and she says she feels like a different person. Yeah. It brings her uh, mom game way up there. You have more patience. You have more strength. Oh, yes, with the patience. Yeah. So if you're ready to get after it and you've been clear, then by all means. Just watch those ranges of motion, OK? <laughs> Don't forget, the relaxing in your body. So especially on those quick movements, those jerky movements, make sure that your form is on point. Anyway, start off slow. Listen to your body. It'll, for the most part, tell you what you need. Yeah, trust that. And bitch. get she knows sleep. Oh, get sleep. For me, get sleep. <laughs> I'm still trying. I know. I'm still trying. All, All right, right, guys. guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Work. Yeah. Tra -tra 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 -tra.